name is Jennifer Mallerich. I'm the Executive Director of Academic and Global Engagement in the Office of the Provost and the Interim Director of Study Abroad. So I view my role at ASU as um, breaking down barriers to global learning opportunities for Sun Devils, whether that's um, integrating the study abroad experience more into the undergraduate student experience uh, or designing specific programs to make sure that there is access to study abroad for Sun Devils of all walks of life. So we do have a variety of programs and the purpose behind that is to make sure that there's something there for everyone. So we have programs that we call our Global Intensive Experiences or GIEs and they run typically from about one to two weeks. We also have our faculty leading our faculty directed summer programs and they're about four to eight weeks in length. Uh, we have partnership programs where we work with third party study abroad providers to provide you a summer or semester or academic year experience overseas. And we also have exchange partners, and that is a year or semester long program where you literally change places with a student from one of our host institution partners. They're developing transferable skills such as flexibility and adaptability that are really important in a 21st century workplace. They're going to gain new perspectives on their academic discipline. Those are skills that employers are going to be looking for um, in recent graduates. So we have in the Study Abroad office um, Study Abroad 101 classes that are offered several times a week as well as online that will give students an introduction to all of the different program types and the resources that they have here on campus. We have a great website, studyabroad.asu.edu, that catalogs all of our different programs, uh, the academics involved, the times, the costs. Um, I would also say to talk to your academic advisor and start thinking about how that program is going to fit into your overall plan of study here at ASU to make sure you're not getting off track for a four-year graduation. So there's no hard timeline in terms of how far ahead that students should be planning for study abroad. A year is ideal, but we do have deadlines that are pretty much the semester before the study abroad program starts. Institutional aid, financial aid, and scholarships are transferable to study abroad at ASU, so there's a lot of support that way. Um, last year, our students also received over a million dollars in external scholarship funding towards study abroad, so I wouldn't c come into this thinking that cost is always going to be prohibitive. There's lots of different resources. We have a lot of different health and safety resources. We have a dedicated team of professionals that's always assessing the safety and security of our program locations and doing everything that we can in order to minimize risk to our students abroad. All of our students are enrolled in an overseas international health coverage plan that um, takes care of um, sickness overseas, but also um, emergency evacuation in case of emergency and things of that nature. I think letting the student take control of the process is important for families, um, but also to ask questions. Uh, ask questions that your student might not be thinking about, such as how is this going to fit into your academic plan? Who are you going to live with? Um, how are you going to communicate with us while you're overseas? Um, being interested and um, hearing the student out, I think, is, is part, of, part of the process. So I actually studied abroad three times. Um, I studied abroad as a high school student. Um, I did a, a semester abroad in Florence, Italy as an undergraduate student. And then I did my practical work experience for my master's degree abroad in Spain. I'm actually now pursuing a doctoral degree internationally. I discovered a passion for global learning that I don't know if I was aware that those alternate perspectives necessarily existed before that experience.